Hi, I'm Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, ages four and 10 months. And today I thought I would share with you our library haul. We are a homeschooling family and that has been a fun new adventure that we have been on. And part of being a homeschooling family is that we go to the library a lot and we get lots of books and we love to read. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you all of the recent books that we've checked out from the library to help supplement our homeschool. We are in the middle of the first book from Cornology's History and Geography for Kindergarten. And so with that, we have checked out several books to supplement. Our first book is the National Geographic Kids, Little Kids First Big Book of the World, Vanishing Cultures, Frozen Land, Yum M Kiriko, America's Sproutings. I really liked this one because it seems like it tells you about the food, the thing that's growing, but it also includes like a little poem. I think they're all haikus. So I think that's really cool about each of those foods. How neat is that? Next we have My Colors, My World. And then finally we have Galapagos Girl. You probably can tell from this where we're kind of at in our uh, geography section, but my son is so enjoying the books that are suggested to go with core knowledge and also the activities. So if you're interested to see what other things that we've chosen, for his kindergarten year for homeschool, go ahead and check out that video. It's linked down below. For science, we have been on a space journey adventure. Um, so we have May Among the Stars, Leaders Like Us, Leland Melvin, The Astronaut with a Song for the Stars, The Story of Dr. Ellen Ochoa, Ochoa, I wish I knew how to say this person's name, but I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot about it and maybe even watch some videos too. So I'm excited for this. And then Living Sunlight, How Plants Bring the Earth to Life. We're actually about to start this next week, so I'll get to read this really soon. <laughs> then we got a bunch of books to help with our letter sounds. So these are books with lots of different animals and other things as well so that we can practice all sorts of different letter sounds as we begin to learn to read. We have Yucky Worms, Lottie and Walter, Town Mouse, Country Mouse. This was one of my favorite books when I was a little girl, so I'm so excited to read this to my son. I hope he likes it as much as I do. I just think that Jan Brett has some of the most beautiful illustrations. Like, look at these. Go gorgeous. Clumsy Crab. This one looked really funny, so I'm excited. Little Swan. A Plump and Perky Turkey. The Littlest Yak. The Lion Inside. Vulture View. The Serious Goose. What About X? This is another one I'm super excited about because I feel like, and for good reason, it's very hard to find things that start with the letter X. And so trying to explain to my son why a lot of the different alphabet books we read use the end of a, of a word like fox or box for the letter X is still something he's trying to like wrap his head around. So I'm hoping that this kind of like teases that or, um, you know, uses that as like a way to have some fun uh, because I think that's this, I'm hoping this will help him to understand like why <laughs> this is such a, a, a thing in almost all of the alphabet books that we read. Never tease a weasel. If I had a horse, my son recently had the opportunity to go pet a horse and he is just absolutely obsessed. Sometimes he says he wishes our dog was a horse. So I'm sure he's going to love this book. The Hiccupotamus. So, I hope I'm saying that right, but you know, like a hippopotamus with hiccups, right? <laughs> Raccoon on his own. Fluffles, these are true stories of animal heroes. This is the brave koala who held strong through the bushfire. So this one seems 
recent, right? That happened pretty recently, so I'm excited. Also, like, the cover is different. <laughs> it's got a different texture than all of the others. Vulture Verses. This is Love Poems for the Unloved. Show that vulture some love. Grumpy Goat. Don't Hug the Quokka. I had to look up how to say this, and it's um, it's an animal from Australia, so I'm always like, Quokka, Quokka, Quokka. <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right still, because I did. I had to look it up because I didn't know. <laughs> but it's cute. And then the last book that we got here is Elephants Cannot Dance. I refuse to believe that that's true. So those are all of the books that we recently got at the library. As I said, many of these are going to be used uh, to help my son with letter sounds, but we also got several that were for our geography and our science units as well. I think, um, I forgot to mention, in this one, this one plays out with little speech bubbles. You can see that. And my son has become obsessed with like comic style writing with speech bubbles. There was another book we recently got from the library, um, The Mystery of the Haunted Farm. And it was written with some things written out, but almost the rest of the story was being told through speech bubbles. Like it was like a comic and he was in love with it. And so I'm thinking that pretty soon we're going to be getting into books for him that he wants to read. And I'm guessing I'm going to be <laughs> kind of looking for that, uh, that style as we move forward. So if anybody has any suggestions of books that do use like the speech bubbles, that comic book kind of style um, that are good for kindergarten, uh, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If anybody else um, has, oh, and if anybody has any suggestions for really good books for kindergarten to read when you're going through uh, the continents, the seven continents, and when you're also learning about space. There's so many great books out there um, and we just love bringing that in to our homeschool. So if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.